Hi guys, so I'm here in Cape Town, Southern Sun uh, Waterfront and uh, I'm here with an international model, I like to call him Giselle, uh, based here in Cape Town but originally uh, from DR Congo. How are you doing bro? I'm well, thanks. Good, good. Uh, so can you tell us a bit about yourself in terms of what, you, what, what kind of a model you are? Uh, well, uh, I'm, a, I'm an international model I'm based here in Cape Town, uh, where I've been living for many years now. Um, as, as, as for the profession, uh, um, I'm based with uh, the agency DNA Model Management here in Cape Town and uh, they, they represent me on, on all platforms of all sorts of modeling, um, commercial TV, uh, runway, um, campaigns, stills, everything, yes. So uh, when did you join DNA and at, uh, before that what were you, were you doing freelance? before that? Well, I originally um, started modeling in 2010. I know it sounds very, very uh, mm. a long time, five years. However, um, I was uh, just doing it very much part time for the three, two and a half years. Um, so it only got serious for me or on a professional level. Um, the end of 2012, that's, that's when I, I started working with uh, DNA model management. Yes. So how did it start? Is there an interest? Uh, do you look into magazines and said, well, there's something I would like to do? Because not everybody can be a model or yes. wants to be a model. Yes, absolutely. Well, for me personally, uh, it started out, I took part in a fashion show, charity fashion show at uh, the institution that I was studying. Uh, at about four to five years ago and I took part just for fun just to be uh, a, uh, just to have fun um, however once the show was finished I, I was managed I was approached by a prof professional scout who gave me his card and told me that I should look for a professional agency I was very much laid back about it as uh, I didn't have any real uh, goals or uh, aims of, of being a professional model in my life. However, I took the opportunity with both hands and I searched for an agency and then that's where everything started. Okay, so everybody, uh, what was the first uh, show or uh, shoot that you did that sort of put you out there, that was your lucky break? Well, I would say when I was with my previous agency before I, I joined the current uh, agency that I'm working with, uh, it is my, it is the Maltina um, drink campaign, commercial, that I did for, for West Africa, Nigeria basically, profitably, and obviously the whole of West Africa. So I would say that is my first big break in the industry, uh, which is three years about now since I, I did that work. Um, and it's flighting, it's still flighting now and then in, in TV screens across West Africa, yes. And what feeling do you get when you see that like, commercial and what do people, maybe your friends, your family, how do they react to you? Are you like a superstar now? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest and to, to be uh, very open, I would say for that, for that part of work, I think it was one of the proudest, proudest moments of my life. Um, as uh, a modeling industry is, is very very difficult it's a very difficult industry to be in especially when when you're coming from the background that I came on without any modeling background so for me personally it was a big achievement and I enjoyed every minute of it uh, being part of such a big huge project and yes even friends uh, that that so much the commercial yes my friends will, will always tease me yes that I'm a star now and that I'm, I'm doing this uh, beautiful work and things but for me personally it's just uh, the gratitude of, of working hard and just being re rewarded with something so uh, so good um, and, and so so great yes. So what have been some of the other highlights, some of the major other campaigns that you've been on? Well uh, the other major campaigns I've been, uh, that I've done um, are nationally in South Africa is the total uh, sports campaign which is a, a local sports brand uh, as well as the Juice Start campaign which is also a local sports brand as well as uh, commercials uh, for West Africa. I'm a very big client for West African so Ghana, Nigeria, um, all of those West African, Central Africa I've done quite a few commercial work for them uh, which includes I've done um, a drink called uh, uh, I think it's called not Fanta I think it's, it's Fanta and as well as I've worked for Vodafone, Vodafone Ghana, um, I've done a commercial 
and I've worked for Glow uh, with, uh, with, with Flavor and all the other artists. So we've, we've done quite a few works for, for West Africa um, campaign commercial wise as well as uh, locally here in South Africa. Well, now let's come to the thing that most male models are known for fitness, looking sexy, and making everybody else look like they're out of shape. Uh, what's like your routine like? Uh, do you do rigorous exercise and do you watch your diet? Do you eat certain things? Do you avoid certain things? Well, for me personally, I think I would say that I'm, uh, uh, I didn't have to uh, work hard so much when it came physically as. I was an athlete before I, I got into modeling through, through running in school as well as uh, being a footballer uh, before even starting a, a modeling career. So when I got into the industry um, uh, as, as part of uh, being, uh, being, being able to prepare myself and physically and, and, and to, to be in good shape all the time, um, it wasn't a, a hard job for me as I, I was already uh, athlete and however uh, I, it needed me to work harder and, and to push more and to be more consistent uh, in a way so yes I, I gym uh, I gym quite a, about three to four times a week but it's very very not hard work just very um, adding on to the, the other things as well as I train uh, I train football so that automatically gives me enough enough uh, physical strength and physical power to stay in, in a foot and, and good shape yes good uh, so Give me um, maybe five food that you think people should eat uh, if they're going to be healthy. Five food? Yeah, give me five they should eat and then five they shouldn't. They shouldn't eat? It doesn't have to be five, but give me some figures. Okay, well, I, I will be honest with you. Uh, I eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allergic to much, but obviously there's, there's certain things that you need to watch out for. Um, depending on the, your body structure and how you are uh, physically. You get some people that eat um, a certain type of food and they just pick up weight so, so quickly. So I would say the healthy food to eat is um, eat healthy, you know, um, uh, have your breakfast in the morning, you know, have, have, your, have your protein such as whether it's flakes, corn flakes, um, for, for lunch, have your, don't have your burgers because I love burgers, burgers and, and fries. Stay away from burgers and fries because that really do contribute to you gaining weight or so stay healthy, have your meat, have your rice, all of those proteins, have your bread, yeah and there. So all of those little bits and pieces I think they, they make up to to be in, in, in a very, very nice nice shape. Cool. So that's what I have most of the time. So yes. Cool. So what should people expect from you in the future? I uh, I mean most models um uh, I've also made some sort of a transition into acting. It can't be because uh, if you're doing commercial as some form of acting. Do you have any plans of branching into other forms of uh, uh, maybe say acting, etc.? Wow, that's uh, to be honest, I um, not really. I, I, I don't have any aspirations into really going into acting uh, professionally, uh, even though that uh, I do need to act sometimes <laughs> in the modeling industry. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a football by profession, so most of my other time and attention is more focused on, on, on sports and football-wise. So branching-wise from a modeling, I think I would probably branch out into a professional footballer if that do exist. So, so in terms of football currently, what do you do? You just train or you have a team? Currently, I'm a free agent. Um, so I'm busy waiting for the January transfer window. That is the only other time that I can join any available team that want to work with me on football purposes. But I'm training. I do have a local team that I'm training with and playing with down there. In what South team Africa. would you like to play? Maybe within South Africa and then in Europe? Well, Europe is definitely the place. Um, I'm a big Arsenal fan. Uh, I love Arsenal, but um, I'm a Chelsea fan too. <laughs> But definitely, it's it's one of my greatest desires to play in the English Premier League. Uh, I wouldn't name a team to play for, but uh, play in the English Premier League, definitely. Great. Thank you very much, Jessa.